going on, YouTube? It's your boy that guy named Jay checking in, checking in, man. We out here in, I think we in Tennessee. I'm not scared, yes, we in Tennessee. We just passed through Nashville maybe about 30 minutes ago. So we in Tennessee still, uh, headed down south, Pauls. But um, I wanted to talk about something that I think people don't think that I'm still focusing on. And I've been, you know, haven't been dealing with, which is, couldn't be further from the truth, which is my health. And what I feel like is the best way to be healthy out here on the road, what I feel like the best, the best quote unquote diet is for truckers, all right? So if you've been following me since I was a local driver, which was about three and a half days ago, uh, it was supposed to be a joke, but it's probably corny, whatever. But, uh, hey, man, y'all joke on me. I joke myself, right? Anyways, but if you've been following me that long, uh, you know that when I was home, I was participating in uh, fasting, both intermittent and water. And actually, I went like 12, 12 days, 12 and a half days with drinking nothing or eating and drinking nothing but water. In that process, I lost a great deal amount of weight, started at 427, and I got down to, I want to say it was like 397. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I end up coming back out here. And I ain't gonna lie, since I've been out here, I've gained a little bit of weight, get a little bit of weight back. Um, and, and and I haven't been, you know, eating the best things. So what we gonna do is we gonna get back on our fasting, man. I mean, that's just the simplest way. I feel like that's the easiest way, not so much the best, but I feel like that's the easiest way to to be healthy out here, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to attempt to do long-term water fasting. When I say long-term, out here, maybe five to seven days. I don't wanna, I don't wanna float around with that eight, nine, 10, 11. I mean, it depends on how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Driving this truck eight, eight to 11 hours a day, you just don't know how, you know, your body's gonna react to, you know, even though I was doing it, at, I mean, really, if anything, I was working. Really, now that I really think about it, I probably was doing more physical work local than I was I would be doing out here. So really, I should be just fine if I'm being honest. So who knows? I might stretch it to the 12 days, but that's what I'm doing, man. Um, that's that's going to be a short-term thing, though. I'm not gonna, you know, water fast for like a, the next three months. But will I? What I will include with that as well is intermittent fasting. Those who don't know what intermittent fasting is, intermittent fasting is when you um, go to a certain point of time in the day without eating or drinking anything besides water or not eating or drinking anything at all. So for example, um, let's just say, you know, you last eat at eight o'clock, you go 16 hours and don't eat again until whatever 16 hours from eight o'clock is. I'm not gonna do that math in my head. But um, so you can choose between, I think what it, from my understanding it takes six to 12 hours for your last meal to fully digest, if I'm not mistaken closer to 12 if it's some unhealthy food, closer to six if it's healthy food, all right? And then, so after that 12 hour mark, that's when you start to digest or burn off the food that's been sitting in storage in your body, right? So if you go 16 hours, that's four hours that your body was just burning off the storage fat. And as you've seen in my videos, I got a lot of storage. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, so do a lot of other YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm the only one to really talk about it. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> because everybody called me fat. But uh, there's some other chubby motherfuckers out here on YouTube, man. I'm just, you know, I ain't gonna say no names because I don't want to be messy. But y'all just ain't gonna put me in a box by myself like I'm the only fat truck driver in the fucking world. <laughs> All right? Like, come on now. But anyways, so what, I, what I'll probably try to do is closer to like... If when I do the intermittent fast, then I'll probably do the one meal a day, which is 20, anywhere from 20 to 23 hours of just fasting and then that one meal for that hour. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm going to do. Um, and because of the weight that I've gained back, I'm going to set a goal for myself to be under 380 pounds by the time I go home in eight weeks. 380 pounds by the time I go home in eight weeks. I think I can be, you know, far under, further under that. 
but I'm not gonna try to put a, put no stress on myself or nothing to that nature. So 380 pounds, uh, which I haven't been that small, which that's not even small, but I haven't been that size and it's been some while, man. Like, you know, I got up under 400 pounds and that was the first time I had been under 400 pounds in like three or four years. So 380 is probably five, six, seven years since I've been that small. Or, or less fat, <laughs> I guess you really can't. Like I said, you really can't call 380 small. But so that's what I'm doing, man. You know what I mean? It's, I don't got no DOT physical coming up. My shit ain't until March. So this say no. You see a lot of truckers. It's so funny. You see a lot of truckers talk about health when that DOT physical come up. But as soon as they pass that joint, they back to doing all their unhealthy habits. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to fall into that. I'm trying to do this and stick with it, which is why I understand that water fasting is only going to be short term intermittent fasting is going to be something that's going to be carried over you know what I'm saying a longer period of time so that's what it is man this ain't gonna be a long video because i know like it's so funny these type of videos people don't really want to watch you know what i'm saying like people always talk about oh you don't talk about nothing positive because y'all don't fucking watch it i could come up here and tell you i lost 100 pounds right now and this video would do like 800 views but i can come up here and say oh i quit my job well, I got fired. That bitch will have 8,000 by the end of the week. So forgive me for trying to entertain the people uh, uh, with some content that they actually going to watch. Like, there's no point in doing YouTube if you're going to do videos that nobody wants to watch. I don't care what anybody says. So you say what you want. But go go look at the quote-unquote algorithm of videos and look at the videos that have the most views. It's the same point that St. For Real tried to make on the Google Hangout live feed about a week and a half ago. People love the drama, period. So, but I have to show this side of trucking as well even though most people don't want to see it they don't want to see the positive people doing good they want to see a, a train wreck <laughs> like my career but whatever you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna show it to you i'm gonna try to put these videos out more and more in a mixture with all the different other content and stuff that goes on in my life because i put out more of myself than any other youtuber puts out of themselves i don't care what nobody say as much as everybody want to say oh i'm real i'm this i'm that i'm that well, let me put yourself out there. Be intimate with your subscribers. If you ain't doing that, then you ain't real. You just a YouTube trucker. <laughs> but anyways, man, as always, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God family trucking, man. I'll check out next video.